What's going on, everybody? So I have some interesting speculation to talk about today, I guess. Um, the reason why I'm bringing this up, even though this post in specific that I'm referencing here was posted May 10th, was like global launch a ton of time ago. That was about four and a half months ago, right? This was a long time ago. However, I'm bringing it up now because we got half of the post or half of this publication come true with Lord Balin, which leads me to believe that, well, the other half could potentially come true in the coming months slash weeks. So what is this about? Well, it's an interview with Screen Rant with the Lord of the Rings uh, Heroes and Worlds developers. And they talk about a couple of things, but honestly, most of the stuff I don't really care about. Yeah, they talk about like unique mechanics, the game and how it's launching and some potential and all that stuff. But one thing that they focused on, I would say, is the what if storylines. Now, I told you all before, I'm not super excited about the what if storylines. I'd rather just keep them within the game and, or within the lore and giving us the characters that we want to see that we've seen in lore. <laughs> um, but there are a few that I'm kind of interested in, and this is one of them. So if we dive into this quote here, they talk about how they're really excited about Heroes of Earth. This is the dev, dev talking, uh, Nicholas Reinhardt. And a lot of what we're trying to think about in regards to what if timelines and the way we think about it internally is there are key decisions that are made that are not always centered around the ring. There's also people who did or did not do a thing. And how would those things be different? So ask the question like, what if Isildur didn't toss the ring? So this, um, I think, um, is, is off. I don't know if this is like misquoted or something, but um, I don't know what they're referring to by Isildur not tossing the ring. Because from what I understand uh, from the lore of Isildur is Isildur, they had the fight, you know, they, he cuts off the ring from Sauron and then he is enchanted by the ring, maybe corrupted and then keeps the ring for himself. But then what happens is later on from the actual lore, I believe this is like from the books. I'm not actually sure where it's from, but not from the movies. Later on, essentially, he goes and he tries to fight uh, this battle and he crosses a river by removing his armor. And during that, he puts on the ring so that he can be you know, completely concealed by the time he crosses the river. But he loses the ring in the currents. He emerges from the other side of the river. Orcs kill him and the ring is stuck in the river uh, for, well, until it's found again. But it didn't toss the ring he didn't toss the ring right <laughs> uh so it's not what if Isildur didn't toss the ring but what if Isildur did toss the ring right into the into the the Mount Doom so what would have happened to Evelyn how would it have changed over time right but what's interesting about this is they follow this up with here's another example here's another one that I think is interesting what if Balin hadn't died when he was claiming, reclaiming Moria? That's an interesting one for us too. Like, what would it look like? Or what if Smog had died earlier? What would the realm have been like? I think there's a, a lot of questions that change the overall tenor and tone. So there's one, Isildur, and two, Smaug, right? These are two big ones. Meaning, okay, are we going to get in a version of Isildur that lived, right? Because he wasn't corrupted by the ring. And he didn't have the, a bunch of problems that ended up you know happening with whatever the wars and all the different intricacies of the lore that ended up happening or what if smog died like are we gonna get a smog character that could be interesting or maybe some sort of raid that depicts smog dying sooner or some i'm not even sure what what could be you know included with smog dying earlier right like i have no idea what character could be included due to that maybe someone else in the comment section that's more familiar with the lore of lord of the rings can let me know but what i think is interesting about this is they mentioned two separate timelines and right now we currently have lord balin inside of the game right so we just recently got this post uh, a little while ago for where was it um the lord balin here uh we've got this guy Right? We have Lord Balin inside the game. So we have the character that are like, what, what, is, what would he look like? What, what would we have included with him and all this other stuff, right? And we've already gotten that. So it's very, very likely that we'll start to see Isildur. We'll start to see Smaug or versions of these characters or timelines kind of manifest themselves either in new content or new characters. 
And in this case, we got Lord Balin, right, as a new character. I would imagine Isildur is going to be a new character. Uh, Smaug might actually end up being some sort of new piece of content, right? Smaug died earlier. This caused this, this caused that. Bam, we get this now, right? I mean, who knows? Maybe we just get a Smaug character in the game. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, I don't know how you kind of fit him on the screen, but it'd be cool. <laughs> um, but uh, definitely something that's very, very interesting. And something I thought was worth talking about because out of everything in the game the one thing that i think is the most important despite all the talk about oh we don't have enough content in the game we don't have this we don't have that i love this quality of life update they need to get their characters right because not having the right characters or you know not i guess presenting the game in a in an enjoyable fashion either through content or through the characters people are just not going to be interested in grinding the game right even if the grind is particularly good, because what gets people in the game is Lord of the Rings IP. That's just kind of what happened with Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. What people got, people got in the door through the Star Wars IP. I can guarantee you that I was one of those people. I literally only played because it was Star Wars, even though I was someone that enjoyed these types of games, right? Before I played Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, I enjoyed these types of games. I had played Summoner's War back in, you know, 2014 or whatever, when it was uh, kind of new and i had loved the sort of gotcha collector aspect collect all the characters and then i even moved to um, a bunch of other games before i played star wars galaxy of heroes and the thing that gets you in the game and the same thing how with lord of the rings are the characters are the ip and the direction that they take so well i think there are some cases where you can have arguments towards yeah well the more dedicated players only care about the content or how the game actually situates itself in terms of quality of life and the grind and all this stuff this is true the vast majority of people are more interested in the characters this is the casual audience and well the casual audience is going to be your vast majority of your player base there is something to be said though about you know they may not be the biggest spenders which is potentially true you know um <laughs> some of the more dedicated players typically are the bigger spenders so you know we'll see but uh, I thought this was kind of interesting. Let me know what you all think about an Isildur character coming to the game or potentially some sort of Smaug uh, interpretation or piece of content. Kind of found this to be almost like a glimpse into what we could see for the next coming months. At least that's how I found it. But again, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? They clearly are more so leading into the what if. So either accept it and... Uh, and enjoy it or uh you know i guess oh well <laughs> thanks for watching everyone see you for the next one